Example number 1.6. The Concorde is the fastest airliner used for commercial service. It cruises at 1,450 miles per hour, about two times the speed of sound. So it's about 600 meters per second, or Mach 2. What is the cruise speed of the Concorde in kilometers per hour? So take note of the conversion factor. So here, we'll try to copy 1,450 miles per hour, which is also equal to 1,450 miles per hour. Okay, and then we'll try to convert this one. Okay, we'll try to convert miles to kilometers, which is a unit of distance or length. And hour, we're gonna leave it as is since hour. Okay, so here we'll have, in order to cancel out the miles, na naasa numerator, so we'll write here miles in the denominator. And that did it. And the desired unit in kilometers. Okay, so in one mile, so there's 1.61 kilometers. So you can cancel out now the miles. So kindly multiply, you'll have 1450 times 1.61. That is equivalent to 2,334. Okay kilometers the remaining unit in the numerator is kilometers and the denominator is hour so kilometer per hour so your 1450 miles per hour is equivalent to 2334 kilometers per hour what is it in meters per second so we'll try to convert me miles per hour to meters per second but we already know that 1450 miles per hour is equivalent to 2334 kilometers per hour so here again we'll have 1450 miles per hour we're just trying to copy this one here is equivalent to 2,334 kilometers per hour. So take note again, this is a unit of speed in distance over time. Okay, so we're trying to convert miles to meters and time hours to seconds. So here's the catch here. Take note that you cannot convert directly Kadricho maka kilometers per hour into this parenthesis here. Again, I repeat ha. You cannot directly convert kilometers per hour to meters per second. It must be that yanam anam ni convert from kilometers to meters and then hours to seconds. So let's try to apply here. Since kilometers is a unit of distance, so we'll try to convert that one to meters by writing kilometers here in order to cancel out the kilometers nga nasa numerator and then the desired unit in meters okay in one kilometer there's one thousand meters right so you can now cancel out this kilometers here and then next, leave it behind since it's meters already. Next is the hour. Here, hour. So, Nash is a denominator, so you have to write hour here in the numerator in order to cancel out the hour in Nasa denominator. And then you'll have minutes, right? So you'll have in one hour, there are 60 minutes. Okay, so you can now cancel out this one. Again, reminders, ha? In this parenthesis, if ang solod is length, so length sa numerator, length po sa denominator. Okay, if you'll notice here, 
So another parenthesis, this is a unit of time. So sa denominator is unit of time. So again, it is impossible nga unit of time dari and then unit of length dari. So sa whole parenthesis, if the owner is unit of length, then unit of length po dari asa denominator. Here, this is a unit of time. So unit of time po sa denominator. Okay, so next, I have here minute. So, we'll try to convert minute to seconds. So, what I'm going to do is simply another, I'll add up another parenthesis, multiplying minutes to seconds. So, in order to cancel out this minute, so I'll have to write minutes here in the numerator and then second in the denominator. So, in one minute, there are 60 seconds. So, you'll have 60 seconds. So now, I can now cancel out the minutes. Okay, here. Take note of the units. The remaining units and numerator is the meters. And the remaining units and denominator is the second. So, 2,334 times 1,000 divided by 3,600. So, the answer will be 648 meters per second. So your 1,450 miles per hour is equivalent to 648 meters per second. So tama, that will be twice the speed of sound.